Hi, hi, guys, and very, very, very nice greetings from Germany. Very spontaneously, I had the impulse to go live here on Instagram. I hope you are okay and everything is fine with you. Yeah, it's been a while that I was live and much, much love to you all. Hi, nice to see you. I hope you are all okay and everything is fine with you. My gosh, many, many things happened. So many things happened the last couple of weeks and days. And how are you doing? Much love to Australia. Much love to Scotland. I see you. <laughs> Much love to Argentina. Yeah, in this life, I had the impulse to talk a little bit about the current energies, about ascension updates and what to expect from August 2022. Hi, nice to see you. A German comment. Guten Tag. <laughs> Much love to you all. You are all so amazing. I want to make a new announcement. I offer all my music on my website now. When you want to take a look at my website, it's called psychicmedium-acura.com. I uploaded some DNA activations on my website now. You can download them onto your computer and more will come. It's just the beginning, yeah, um, that you can download a few um, DNA activations. I'm so grateful when all this is helping you for real, because you know I'm not a native speaker. I'm still in training. Much love to Mexico. <laughs> Much love to you all. So, and we are all learning and healing. This is announcement number one. Next Sunday, um, I'm in the Arcturian conference. Maybe you saw my post on Instagram or maybe you saw the post by Star Codes. Much love to you. Maybe you see this live. And I was invited to join the Arcturian conference with Debbie Solaris, for example. She's also there. So I'm so honored. I can't believe it. What's going on now? Because you must know when you know me from my YouTube channel. So then uh, you know a little bit more, I think, how we live, what's going on with Marcel and me, my twin flame and me, what we saw last year in 2021. Yes, and it is still affecting our current situation and our life. So that's why I'm so honored and I'm so happy and grateful when so many light things are coming back now as well and not just always darkness you know <laughs> marcel and me we always experience so much darkness so when you know me from my youtube channel and when you know me from my old youtube channel my old youtube channel was called the magnificent future i was suddenly gone last year so then you know what i'm talking about and that's why i'm so honored and i'm so grateful when so many light things are coming back in return as well you see it's always light and darkness it's not always darkness it's not always light that's earth guys <laughs> as long as we are here on earth we always have light and darkness okay so let's see yeah i see your comments that you say that the last days were very stressful very exhausting <laughs> of course they were they are me the same um yeah since the CERN you know events something very 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 crazy happened yeah and you sent me messages as well that's what I try to say these dark experiences always my services page was deleted and I didn't delete it by my own and this happened on the weekend in which they turned CERN on <laughs> my service page was boom deleted removed <laughs> And I didn't do it by my own. And so many people contacted me and sent me screenshots. So, hey, your service page is gone. I can't book a reading anymore. I was like, hey, but my service page is still online. <laughs> and I was online with a Wi-Fi and then uh, it was still online. And then I had the idea, oh, I use 4G now. Let's see what's happening when I go online with my phone and see the services page was for real gone. And I tried to rebuild everything up and it didn't work. It didn't work. I, I was able to see it on my computer with Wi-Fi, but not through 4G and 5G. <laughs> it was completely deleted. Just an example, you know? 
And this is what's taking place in the back, for real. It is a timeline war. It is a, a timeline war, you know, and these are extraterrestrials. <laughs> extraterrestrials are doing this. The same with the fake channels, right? These are extraterrestrials. So this is what I feel since the CERN event, something very crazy happened. Yeah, I feel a poll opened, a good one, you know, the good ones, they can talk to us, the same to the dog ones, you know. <laughs> It's like the gate to these two agendas, to both sides, opened more. And now it's about to discern. It's about to discern spiritually. Because, yeah, there is a lot of confusion going on now. My gosh, I don't know where I should stop and start. Because it's, <laughs> it is almost too much. But actually, it's super simple. That's why I tell you always... This is just what I can share with you. We, we just can talk about our own experiences. I just can share my consciousness level with you. You know, and we are all in training. We are all healing. We are all purging. We are all in this game. We are all in the same boat. And this is what we realize as well, that even our gurus, you know, our spiritual teachers and gurus, actually, they all have just a human experience now, right? And we are all healing and purging all the stuff out now and this is happening as well that's why many of you feel also exhausted because all the old stuff is coming up to the surface it's like we can't run away we, we must face our shadow side we must face our light side finally to understand that we are both you are not just a light worker and you are not just a shadow worker you are both you are a shadow worker and a light worker. You are very dark and very light. And then you are out of this game. Then you are out of the duality game. And this is what the dark agenda is always trying us to believe. That we believe we must choose a side. And this is the AI game, by the way. When we talk about the red pill and the blue pill. Because when you know me from YouTube, then you know that we saw something very interesting last year in 2021, that we saw the AI matrix and how the AI matrix is working, <sighs> created by the negative ones. They want you to believe that you must choose a side, the good guy or the bad guy, who are you? And this is just a game. This is not what it is about. It is about that you spread your love and peace and not that you choose a side. <laughs> because that's duality. That's the old game of the dark agenda. And I mean, we, we can see it in almost every movie, right? That we see the war between the good and the bad guys, right? Finally, that you believe you must choose a side. But when you choose a side, then you are in their game. Then you are in their game okay so and i just can tell you this is just what we saw last year don't choose a side see that you are both you are very evil and very good <laughs> you are both and this is in my opinion the violet flame this is in my opinion 5d earth tara 5d earth tara in my opinion is that we find peace with our shadow side that we find peace with our light side and that we start to embody both. So we talk about Lord of the Rings now, okay? So I mean, Lord of the Rings is a very famous movie. And I mean, in almost every movie, there are many, many symbols and messages inside. <laughs> in Lord of the Rings as well. So do you know why I always like Galadriel so much? I mean, this very powerful elf, the queen, right? Galadriel. Why is she able to control the ring? I mean, in the Hobbit movies, she is able to defeat Sauron. Okay, I don't want to make too much <laughs> advertisement for these movies now. <laughs> I'm so sorry. But how is that possible? Why is she so powerful? Because she is very dark as well. She is a very evil witch when you know Galadriel. But she is also super light. She's so light and so kind and she's expressed her love as well, but she's so evil and dark. And that's why I truly believe she's so powerful <laughs> because she's not choosing a side. She's just trusting 
her soul. When she feels it's necessary that she's getting an action, then she's getting an action. And when not, she just observes. And this is what I highly recommend as well in the global chaos, because that's the old game. Yeah, are you a good guy or a bad guy? But what if we are both? And when we are nothing of these, so then you are out of this game. Automatically, we must be the change. We are the change. We are here to create new earth together. And what is taking place is, is the biggest gift ever. It is the biggest gift ever. Imagine. This is just what I can tell you from my experience last year, what we saw. And I cried because I felt it's true. At one hand, we are in 4D now. We are for real in the other dimension now, physically. Earth ascended up into the fourth dimension. Since last year, we are in 4D now. This is good news number one. Good news number two is the light of the sun is getting brighter with each day. Why? Because codes from 5D Tower Earth are coming down. And this is actually our true home. 5D Earth Tower is actually our home. This is what we all remember, even when you are a starseed. And these codes are coming down so strongly now from the sun and even higher. So many cosmic sisters and brothers, they are opening all the gates. They are opening star gates and it's all coming down from the sun, through the sun to us. And this is also a reason why so many of you feel confused because codes from 5D Tara Earth are coming down or even higher and it doesn't fit to your old beliefs anymore. It, it doesn't fit. And I tell you, many spiritual teachings were completely distorted. Almost everything we know. It was just explaining 4D, but it was never explaining 5D Earth Torah and never the divine matrix. Imagine the AI matrix goes up very high, actually. But when we try to keep it simple, we talk about the blue pill and red pill matrix, okay? And this is, it is really true. This is what we saw last year. And now they want to let you believe that you must take the red pill or the blue pill. Yeah, when you take the red pill, then you are in a war with the Draco Alliance. Because the Dracos, they embody the blue pill matrix. That's super heavy stuff, heavy stuff, you know? This is all which is crumbling now. We don't have to do anything anymore because the old matrix is crumbling. And this is the 3D consciousness as well. The red pill symbolizes 4D matrix. And this is the plane of the Anunnaki, by the way. Okay, so the Anunnaki are definitely lighter. They are. We saw them last year, by the way. And they are definitely lighter, but they are in a battle with each other. So the negative alien agenda is always in a battle with each other as well. Finally, to figure out who is ruling over Earth now. They just want to figure out which agenda is ruling over Earth now. Yes, and now the time of the Anunnaki has come when we talk about the bad guys, okay? So, and the realm of the Red Pill Matrix is all 4D. It is the 4D realm, and now we are in 4D. And we saw that many spiritual teachings are completely inverted and twisted by the Anunnaki. And this happened in Egypt, or already in Atlantis it happened. That the first gods, you know, appeared, which started to interver our ancient teachings, or they twisted the old meanings. Yeah, finally, to confuse us completely. So, and many teachings, what we knew, even in the New Age community, were just able to grasp the 4D realm and not higher, but never 5D. And this is all what they wanted you to believe, that all these teachings are able to predict the divine matrix. But no. 
And these codes which are coming down now are codes from the source directly. That's why it's almost impossible to do future predictions now. I mean, okay, we can use astrology, right? And we can see what's going on with the planets, what's coming next. But I tell you, <laughs> even astrology is 4D. Astrology is just able to um, predict 4D, the red pill, not higher. So this is the reason why it's almost impossible to do future predictions. And when you want to go with the true essential matrix, yeah, when you want to go the way of your soul back, then all you have is the now now. And that's basic in 5D Earth Torah, that we stay completely in the now, that we stay centered, that we discern with our heart, that we see through the eyes of a child again, and that we see that every one of us is playing a game, even the dog ones, that's what I told you many times, they play their part as well, finally, that you understand who you are, who are you? <laughs> And it's an infinite game and there is much healing and purging going on inside of us because we must realize that there were many distortions and twisted teachings as well in the spiritual community. And what I can tell you is imagine all souls are free now and almost no one knows that we were slaves. We were slaves for real. The souls here on earth. They don't know that they are all free now. And this happened through the shift up to 4D. It's like all the twisted teachings, they are crumbling. So everything is crumbling now. And this is like you can't attach on the old beliefs anymore. So when you have a very wide open heart and when you dive here into your heart, then you feel it that all the old narrative is crumbling. And I don't talk about astrology. I don't talk about oracle cards because all these tools are just helping us to navigate in this matrix here, in this reality here, but it's not able to channel the divine. <laughs> this is what I saw last year. And that was shocking a little bit. <laughs> but honestly, I was not surprised <laughs> that this all is just able to explain 4D and not higher. And actually, we all go the way back home to 5D Tower Earth. That's the reason why it's important to discern spiritually now. And always believe in yourself and just do what nourish your soul for real. The dark ones, they try to confuse you too. Because they want that you join their bubble. <laughs> that you go the way back to their realm, right? They don't want that we see through all these distortions. But when you saw what I saw, that the real cage was actually that all souls were trapped in the reincarnation cycle and that even the reincarnation teachings were also not true. It was all just a teaching about a dark agenda to keep us here. And they did it on almost every star system, everywhere. They, they do the same. Or they did the same and you must imagine this is a very 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 old war it's not just since the sea thing no we are in this war since the fall of lyra lyra takes a very very important role in all this and since the fall of lyra <laughs> they created many 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 artificial matrixes parallel matrixes finally, to pull all entities into their bubble and to keep all the souls there. This is a very old war. So, and that's why many Lyran star seeds remember all this intuitive or they um, embody the ancient cults because Lyra took a very important role in all this and they had the power to create life, what I know about them. They were able to work with magic and they are the technology. We were the technology. So this means we used our imagination, our superpowers in 5D Tara, just an example, and everything was there. 
So we created technology with imagination. We created a spaceship with imagination and then it was finally there. And this technology vibrated like us and we worked with free energy, you know? It was totally different. And this is what's taking place as well, that we star seeds discern spiritually more and more and more and more and more. And now we understand, holy shit, so many teachings, you know, they worked in 4D, yeah, that they, they worked here, up to here, but actually it was all just a trap to keep us here. Even karma, karma, all 4D, that, that's not true. And because now we are in 4D, all these distortions, all these twisted um, teachings, they are all crumbling now. They are even not working anymore. And that's what I want to say as well, that even the, the law of karma, you know, this has changed. It, it's not the same again. It, it has definitely changed. When you have a thought, for example, if things become real or not, or if, if something bad is happening to you now or not. So, and this happened as well, that many, many um, distorted teachings are changing right now. And this is happening because codes from 5D Torah are coming down and from the source. This means the source is in action now and no um, artificial matrix anymore. Or that we finally believe this artificial matrix was true and all these teachings. Mm -mm. And this happened all after the fall of Atlantis, when we talk about Earth. So then after the fall of Atlantis, we um, had these teachings. So I don't know if this all makes sense, but this is what we saw last year. And the good news is <laughs> that all souls can go back home. So the big event is already there. It's already here. So and this was actually the true cage that all souls had to stay here. They had no chance. They went up to the astro, up to 4D, not higher. And then these holograms appeared, the false, you know, ETs as lovely angels. And they told them they must go back to Earth. Their mission is not over. And these souls believed them. And then they returned back to Earth again. Over and over and over and over and over and over again. And they wanted to be sure that we all are staying here. And this is the thing. So the big event is already here. That's why I'm so chilled. Because all this what's taking place is, yeah, it's the chaos. And it can be very chaotic what's taking place soon. When, when we talk about the crisis now, right? So, and be prepared for that. But actually the true cage was that all souls were trapped here and almost no one knows. So I don't know if this makes sense, but this is what I saw, you know, and even all these karmic teachings and all that, all this is lifting up because, you know, it was never your fault. Never. It was no one's fault. So even this teaching about it's your fault, it's your fault. That's why you have to suffer in the next life. No, it was never your fault. It was no one's fault. And the source loves us unconditional. Why should the source judge us like this or punish us? You, know, you have to incarnate on earth again because last time you were bad. Mm -mm. The source loves us unconditional and our cosmic team as well. They love us and they are all counting on us. And that's the reason why so many of us are here. And this is happening through our presence because we are here. We do so much in the astro. We do so much behind the scenes because we are increasing the vibration of a planet. I see that many star seeds of us are just here to anchor all the Christ codes now. It's about the energy of Christ. And it doesn't belong just to Yeshua. His true name was Yeshua, by the way, Yeshua ben Joseph. I can tell a book about it, <laughs> what we saw last year. Yeah, and Yeshua holds an important key because his teachings were all about true ascension, Yeshua ben Joseph. 
about true ascension because they saw through all these distortions as well. I talk about the 4D spiritual distortions. They saw through them all as well. And they wanted to remind us, they anchored the Christ codes down. So, and even the tree, the 12 tree grid, I think it's the English translation, yeah? They um, anchored all these codes on earth. The true grids, the true flower of life. You know, there is, it's like the Durga Chet. So I can, do you see me? Because, yeah, I had a, a problem with the connection now. I hope you can see me. Yeah, it is, it's about copy and paste strategy. When we talk about the dark entities, you know, um, they just copy the souls. So, and there is a, if you want, so a true flower of life. This symbolizes the creation of life, the internal life. And then we have a false flower of life. Okay, just the example. So, and you can be sure when there is a hologram or um, a distorted meaning of the flower of life, I mean, I talk about the famous one, uh, almost, you know, when you join the spiritual community, you are guided to the very famous flower of life. I mean, you can see it almost everywhere, but this is the Metatronic Cube. Yeah, just an example. And the true flower of life looks totally different. And this symbolizes the eternal life. And this all belongs to the energy of Christ when we talk about the true flower of life, when we talk about the twee, twee, I can't speak English, 12th grid, the 12th grid tree of life. So, <laughs> and all the stargates. So this is actually um, the way back home. So, but don't be afraid and don't be confused because this is what they want. <laughs> that we are completely confused. But because when you are confused now, when you're stuck too much in the head, oh shit, Metatron, a uh, uh, flower of life. Oh my gosh, I worked with all the symbols and I still work with the symbols. So then they got you because you're stuck in here in the head. And when you understand that through your heart, you are such a powerful creator being with your heart, then you are able to heal all these distortions. You can bring them all into reverse, everything. And then it doesn't matter if you label Yeshua, Jesus Christ, if you call him Sananda, because Jesus Christ and Sananda are holograms. They are all not real, what I saw. So and then it doesn't matter because your intent is so much more important. Yeah, and this is all 5D. These are the teachings from 5D Tara Earth. It is your heart. And then you are not afraid. You can actually believe you can work with the metatronic cube, you know, when you see, oh, actually, it's just a hologram or um, a distorted cube from the dark alien agenda. When you see finally through this, okay, so then you can still work with this metatronic cube because through your heart, you are able always to work with the souls. <laughs> And then you are out of this crazy game because it's all duality. Yeah, that we are in a war, in judgment with each other. And that even we spiritual people never unite because we all judge each other. Oh my gosh, look at her. She's working with the flower of life symbol. She has the flower of life on the wall. Oh my gosh, I don't talk to him. I don't talk to her. That's the distorted version by the dark alien agenda. Ah, she's working with the false flower of life. Oh, I, I, I don't follow her. I don't speak to her. But what if this person has a very good heart? When the intent of this person is love. So then it's not about it anymore. And this is what I truly believe. At first... Yeah, discern spiritually as best as you can and see through all these illusions. Because imagine all these distorted teachings like the Metatronic Cube, the Galactic Federation of Light. This is all, hmm? these are all the distortions, this is all the astral. It's not higher, it's just 4D astral, not higher. Um, when you see through all these illusions, when you learn to, to discern more, then Reclaim always your power and don't go into this energy of, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, I'm so scared, I'm so scared. I, I, I'm not sure if channeling is good, you know. <laughs> there is so much going on now. And when you are fully afraid now, then it's like you send this vibration out. Ah, 
I'm not powerful, I'm not sovereign, I'm so weak and tired, oh my gosh. Yeah, so and then they can work with you again. Because then you send this vibration out, hey, guys, you are more powerful than me. You got me. Now I'm scared to channel. <laughs> Now I'm scared to talk to the souls either. <laughs> Because I don't want to do anything wrong. Yeah, this is what I saw last year <laughs> as well. When you understand that your heart is the strongest power in the universe, it is your heart, and no AI matrix can understand the heart. No one. It, it, it is you. It is, it's not working. So then you know that you are able to create everything by your own and through your heart, through imagination. And this is what I remember what the Lyrans did. Imagine there's always a fallen consciousness and the ancient consciousness we use this example with the draconians okay what i know is that actually the draconians are dragons actually they belong to the ancient dragon family and we talk about the fallen dragon consciousness and we talk about the ancient dragon consciousness We talk about the fallen Anunnaki angels, which love it as well to be the angel, your archangel. This were the realm of the Anunnaki. They liked it very much to be an angel or to look like angels. And there is a ancient angelic consciousness. So that's it. And when you see it through this game, it's like, um, that's all just duality. <laughs> <laughs> this just there that I'm not going into my power and that I'm fully afraid now. Okay, so I hope so much this helps you, really, because I see this confusion and this war with the spiritual people. Oh, don't talk to her. Don't talk to him. Oh my gosh, she's channeling the Galactic Federation of Light. This is just a psyop. Yes, it is for real. We saw them <laughs> last year in the fourth dimension, and Lord Ashtashiren. But imagine when they spend so much time in creating holograms of the Galactic Federation. So there must be a true Galactic Federation out there. True cosmic sisters and brothers, which are helping us for real. And it's the same with Yeshua, the same again. You have the fallen consciousness and the ancient consciousness. The fallen consciousness is Jesus Christ, the man on the cross, because he's even not true what I saw. And then you have the ancient consciousness, which is called Yeshua ben Joseph. So it's all about this. It's not more. It's just a copy of the divine matrix. And what is happening is that gates from 5D Earth Tower are opening. And now we see through all this illusion. So holy shit, so many distortions <laughs> in the spiritual community. And it was all 4D, 4D. It never explained the source, just 4D. So that's all about, and at the end, it is just the game. And if you want so, the red pill matrix, when we talk about the Anunnaki, yeah, it's 4D, lighter, Egypt, and all this. Uh, yeah, this is the false light, if you want so. It's a game or a war, yeah, they are in a battle. The Draco Alliance, the Blue Pier Matrix, represents the darkness. These are demons, you know, you see it immediately. Oh my gosh, they look so dark and their attacks are horrible and dark and brutal. This symbolizes the darkness. And then the Red Pill Matrix, the realm of the Anunnaki, is the false light. So this means they are in a battle that you believe you must choose a side. That's it. And this war takes place since the fall of Lyra. It's such an outdated and an old battle. So finally to catch our star seeds as well. That's all about that we don't see with our hearts again, that we don't see through this game, through this illusions. Okay, and there is a reason why so many star seeds are here now, because we know this time it's working out. And that's why I always <laughs> tell you and my community on YouTube, don't take any pills. Don't take the blue pill and not the red pill. Don't become red pilled because then you are in their game. Then you are in a war with them. Really, 
It's like when you choose the red pill, then you are on a war with Agent Smith. And when you choose to be the bad guy, then you are on a war with Neo, always, you know? <laughs> and there is no way out. And the only way out is your heart. It is your heart. And that you anchor the Christ codes, the energy of Christ. And Christ is a consciousness. So each of us is able to integrate the energy of Christ and its unconditional love. And what is also happening is that our bodies are changing for real. Our bodies became so sensitive and so light now. So maybe you observed it too, that you can't eat specific food anymore. So that your body reacts so sensitively on specific, specific food. Or that you say, oh, I, I want to exclude meat. I can't eat meat anymore. Or I, I want to be vegan now, so I can't even eat cheese and eggs anymore because my body ugh, is reacting. So, and this is happening as well because our bodies become lighter. And this is all happening through the sun. The sun is sending us so many codes now. So, and this is the biggest gift. That's the gift from source. It is the gift from source. And allow yourself to integrate these codes. And when you see that all stuff is coming up to the surface, when you see that all beliefs are coming up, so give yourself the time to integrate all these codes and don't judge yourself. Even when you feel tired, I know many stars it's are tired, me as well. Because on one hand, these are attacks, yeah, as well. These are eye attacks. I think you must see that as well, the darkness. But on the other side, there is so much going on from the sun. So many lightful coats are coming down. And I don't know how long all this will take. I just know it is a stairway. It is a process. I know many people are waiting for the great solar flash now because many of us realized, oops, many predictions never became true as well. It always says soon, maybe next week, soon, soon, there is a great uh, awakening happening, a great disclosure coming. And now the next thing is the great solar flash <laughs> that many people are waiting for the big bang, you know, for the great solar flash. But what if the great solar flash is already there? What if the great solar flash is already here? What if it, it is here and it's all the moment? What if it is about to stay in the present now and that we all reclaim our power? What if we have the power now? And what if it is a stairway and this process is happening so slowly, maybe so slowly that we even don't talk about the great disclosure anymore because it's happening slowly and then everything is just normal. Oh, it's normal. Even the spiritual distortions, it's all normal. Yes, I know. <laughs> because we go the stairway higher and higher and higher and higher. And when you saw what I saw last year, that all souls can go back home now. We are all free. So for what are we waiting for? <laughs> when all souls can go back home now. Okay, so and I wanted to share this with you. See the light and see the darkness. See both. You are both. You are not good, you are not evil. You are both. This is just the game here. That's just the experience that we have light and darkness here. And what if you are both? What if it's about to find peace with your shadow side, with all your past lives? Maybe we are all were bad. Maybe I had an incarnation as a bad guy once as well. And I did bad things. So what if? You too, or maybe we were everything once and we played all characters. And what if it's just about to find peace? Peace with my now self and not to wait anymore. And that always trust your heart and see that everyone is playing their part. And yes, the dark extraterrestrials, they're reading our thoughts. They are observing us in every detail. They can respond to your thoughts. This is what is happening to me. I have a thought. 
about I receive a message, an impulse, so and then suddenly AI channels are responding to my thought. And this is happening through this technology we have. And imagine the good guys can do that. Yeah, they can read your thoughts and then they can respond as an AI comment to your thoughts. Or even the good guys. Both sides can do that. Okay? And don't feed it. When you see that confusion, so, ha? Huh? Now there's a person which is responding to my thought. <laughs> Just the example. Don't feed it or that you tune into this because that's just a trial to pull you into their artificial matrix back again. Not more. It's like we have two paths now. The false ascension matrix and the true ascension matrix. And they know that these codes from souls are coming down and that the source is getting an action. And when the source is getting an action now, we go with the flow, okay? So when you stay centered here in your heart, then you have nothing to fear and nothing will ever happen to you. So because the source loves us, everyone, even the dark side, everyone, that's the energy of Christ. It's about that you see you are both, you are dark and very light. You don't have to choose a side. And this is the violet flame. And this is the way out of this game here. So, and then you are still here on earth and you still believe and trust in yourself. You trust your heart. You have your big wish for humanity. Maybe you have a wish. So, and always imagine new earth now. What is new earth in your opinion? What is it? And what you can do in the now to make earth a better place? Not to wait for the big solar flash now. That's the same trap. It's the same. So then you always look out. Ah, oh, the sun is a little bit lighter today. Two weeks later, ah, oh, the sun is, is lighter again. So, oh, maybe next week we have the big solar flash. But your time is running out. <laughs> and when you see <laughs> that all souls can go back home now, so then you know maybe it's our last incarnation for us all. Okay? That's why I can smile so much. <laughs> As I saw these pictures last year, I cried. I cried so much. It was like I, I, I even had no clue by my own. So even when I was aware of my starship connections before we were gone in this matrix <laughs> last year, so I had no clue how many distortions we had. The same, it was just shocking me because I worked with a few distortions as well. And my intent was good. My intent was to help people. And that's all about, and when you see the same, oh, look, they channel uh, Lord Ashtashirin and it's for real just the hologram. So see the intent of this person and not so much the label anymore. It's not about if you are an Andromedan or an Arcturian or whatever. Okay, it's just helping you to navigate, yeah, to understand your blueprint, your star home, your purpose, your abilities, your interests. But it's not about the label anymore. Okay. So I hope so much you can still see me because I have some problems with the connection here. Let's see. Um, so many people are here in the house. Oh my gosh, what's going on with you guys? <laughs> I can't believe it. I can't believe it that so many people are in the house. Oh my fucking gosh, what's going on with you? <laughs> I'm even not a native speaker, guys. <laughs> you are so, so amazing. Yeah, at the end, we are all one. And don't fear. Of course, of course, do not fear, you know? <laughs> Everyone is playing their part. And it's all about resonance. It's all about your heart. And trust your body reactions. And the first body reaction which you have when you watch a person, <laughs> trust the signal. You don't have to know more, honestly, because what's taking place is that we are sharpen our psychic abilities and we are sharpen the connection to source. We sharpen our intuition now, our own intuition, because this is basic in 5D Earth Torah that we believe in us. And no one can say for sure what is taking place soon. Yeah, maybe we can feel it. Or maybe I can share with you 
my updates a little bit, but I can't say if this will happen. Okay, so and it's all about sharpen your intuition, sharpen the connection to your soul and to the prime creator first, because this is basic. So even our cosmic team, they all do the same like you and me. They are all in contact with the source. They are all channeling the source like you and me. And then it's like, okay, now you ask the Andromedans and they give you the information from souls <laughs> because they all serve the souls. And we are also here on earth with star seeds because we heard the call of humanity and we stabilize the matrix from the bottom up to the top. And this matrix here, this dimension is crumbling. That's why we are here to stabilize the new, that we anchor new codes on earth. We stabilize the matrix from the bottom up to the top. And in higher dimensions, everything is just in balance. It's just the chaos here. In, in this dimension here, we have the chaos, okay? So thank you so, so much. You are all so amazing. And don't give up, guys. Don't quit. It is so close now. And as I said, don't be confused. Stay here in the heart. Stay here. Much healing and purging is going on. It's like we all detach from the artificial AI matrix and from all the AI distortions from everything. And this takes time because I truly believe that almost every one of us was hijacked, almost everyone, by the AI, really. And this is taking place as well, that all this stuff is coming up, all these spiritual distortions. So, oh my gosh, you know, all this is coming up. And even when it's hurting, it is the biggest gift ever. It is the biggest gift and this never happened in history. Never. Since the fall of Atlantis, we were all hijacked. Okay, thank you so much. Take care and don't quit. Reclaim your power. You are so awesome. If you want to see my music on my website now, do not hesitate. I uploaded a Merkaba. DNA activation, I did a Christ light code activation as well, in which I connect with the tree grid, just the example, and with Yeshua as well, when you are guided to it. Thank you so much and take care and please don't give up. It is so close now. Okay, take care and ciao.